can pay that. The only way I'm paying six hundred is if they have like that uh that retro mania on there. Then they yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which actually I'm glad you said that because that actually uh goes to the game. Like I don't care about a system. I don't care about, about the specs or anything. It's about the games that are on it, man. Yeah. Hey. Whether it's a beer, a shot, a wine, doesn't matter. Whatever your favorite beverage is, welcome to the Level 857 Video Game Podcast. We are your hosts, Al G857. The 23rd Style, yo. Sticks. And your boy, Big Chalk, what up? That's right. And before we get on with the show, just got to go ahead and let everybody out there know that if you haven't subscribed to our channel, our YouTube channel, be sure to do so because if we hit 500 or if we get... Uh, 500 followers on any of our social media mm-hmm. we're gonna do the hot sauce challenge for game right that's right yeah. and also if you're watching this live right now you already know but for those who don't who are watching this on youtube you can watch this live on twitch every wednesday at 8 p.m eastern time that's right that's right and uh you can also check us out on all our social media um uh, all the streaming services you damn right uh apple podcast is one of them that's uh, highlighted but we're on everything so Feel free to uh, subscribe to that. Show us that love. love. Find us. Be entertained right. by us. And without further ado, let's get right on it. There anyway. we go. We got to do it the right way. The right way. <laughs> we got to do it the right way here. Hailing from parts unknown at an undisclosed weight, one of the talented, one of the talented, one of the talented individuals working <laughs> on retro media, yeah. Michael Herman. Where's the fire up? I'll say that is the best introduction I've had on the podcast. Yes. <laughs> yes. We should have got like awesome, the graphics man. for the explosions. I know. We need confetti and all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's get right in on it, man. All right. How's it going, man? Yeah. You know, get right into the news. That's right. So good. Let's get into the news. Jump right into it, baby. All right. So thank you for joining us on the news. That's right. Okay. So what we've got here is. Sega will be remastering Bayonetta and Vanquish, two of Platinum Games' best releases. Mm. So, as you all know, Bayonetta mm. is a pretty popular hit from Platinum, and it's Sega yeah. who released those games. Right. And right now, Nintendo owns the rights to Part 3. Mm. Now, it makes me think that Bayonetta 3 is coming sooner than we think, because they announced that a long, like about a year. Video yeah, Game Awards, year, maybe? Right? It's been a while. Maybe two years yeah. in the Video Game Awards. So, so it's a chance that they might be announcing Bayonetta 3 at the Video Game Awards this year, mm-hmm. which is tomorrow if you're watching live. Mm-hmm. If not, then it already passed, and we may be wrong. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but a uh, remastered Bayonetta is coming to uh, what, the PS4 and the Xbox One. So how many of you? How many of you guys played Bayonetta? You know what's funny? I I've never played Bayonetta. I, I played both of them. Really? I've I've never I I never them. have either. Yeah, oh man, man. I, I know of them. <laughs> okay, yeah. me too. I, I've been entertained by like seeing some of the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, right. it's, I, it's one of those games I can't even explain why, but I, 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 I like watching it more than I than I like playing it. So it, you only know it through Smash Brothers, basically. Yeah, pretty much. All pretty right, much. Well, and okay. watching uh, Turbo Eight Five Seven, one of the other members here, uh, playing it. Okay, all, all right. the time. I played both games. Um, very, very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first one was awesome. The second one did everything in the first better, better, and it was yeah. it was amazing. And the thing is. If you like games like uh, Devil May Cry, yep. it's right up your alley. This, exactly the this same. Is the perfect, yeah, it's same type of thing. But I think it, I, give Over it the, the I give it the edge. <laughs> I give uh, Bayonetta two the edge because of the combos and stuff like that. There's less the way, boundaries, so you can do pretty much anything. You can change your, your awesome. fighting style. You can change it like according to how you, uh, you know, how you like to play. Yeah, and, you know, it's really, really good. So Sega, I mean, uh, what is it? Sega has the rights to the first game, right, and not the second in the. Apparently third, which is not. Oh wow! All right. But uh, that's why there's no sequel on this one. Right. I I actually have Bayonetta for uh, the Switch Part One and Two, mm. so I'm probably not going to get this one. They're going to sell it as a package with uh, Vanquish. So mm, Vanquish. Vanquish is more the more interesting thing in here. Vanquish is yeah, it's fire. A, it's one of those forgotten. It's a hidden gem. So yeah. underrated. It's a hidden gem. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, have you played Vanquish? I have. I'm no. coming up real small here. <laughs> no, not a lot of people played Vanquish or right. even heard of Vanquish before. Yeah. I don't even know how I heard of it, to be honest. Yeah. I saw probably like a trailer and I said, oh my god, you're a robot, it's third person, and you could slide. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's a very fast-paced, like, okay. yeah. Japanese action 
like Gears of War type robot game. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. And I, I've, I've only played the first stage. I should have played more of it, but I saw you play it, so it kind of made me not because no. you were playing. I was playing other stuff. Yeah. But I played the first stage, and the first boss oh. was pretty much like the best final boss in <laughs> most games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was yeah. like, "What the hell?" Like, yeah. it's like right away, it's you massive. can throw it into this huge, huge, massive battle. Yeah. Man. So um, this got this got made over for the PC recently. And it went 4K and 60 frames. Both of these are going to be 4K 60 frames oh, on the remaster. Wow. So that's going to be beautiful. That's mm. the big hype about it. And because people have seen it on the PC, it really makes it look that much different. Right. So everything from, what was this, PS2 or 3? This is 3, right? 3? PS3 I got, and it was Xbox 360. Xbox 360. Yeah, PS3 yeah. and Xbox 360. Yeah. So I'm all for it. If I mean, remasters, I want remakes more than remasters, but if you're going to make it like running a better frame rate and it's a hidden gem. I, I have nothing against that. Bring it out. Right. Let more people see it. As yeah. long as you're not charging 60 bucks for it, I <laughs> yeah, think I'm okay yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah. So these are going to be a 25 a piece, I think. That's fine. So, as long as they yeah, break. Good. I, don't, I don't, I applaud the remaster because no, no one knows about Vanquish. Yeah. Right. Nobody and, knows. And if it does well, it might get a sequel. Yeah. 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 If they like they it, need to. make a sequel. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those games. Yeah. Absolutely. That'd be good. Yeah. So Platinum, they, they got, they got some stuff. Man. Yeah. I'm excited. As a gamer. Yeah. <laughs> more options the better yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah definitely it's always the best uh so moving on to now. Yeah. yeah man we gotta move on we gotta move on baby all right so the state of play sony had a state of play that's right yeah man. oh did they what'd they do with this little state of play <laughs> i don't know that's it that's the news for today <laughs> yeah <laughs> they had one yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's the news. That's it. That's it. Okay. On to right. the next. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Worst so, news ever, right? Let me run down the list of the games that they had mm-hmm. that are worth talking about on State of Play. Right. So they they started it with Untitled Goose Game, which is an indie <laughs> developed title. That, that I was, found hilarious. That was yeah. for the Switch. <laughs> yeah, that I found and hysterical. We didn't know it was coming to PS4, but it was a uh, it's a, it was an interesting trailer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just throwing stuff into the water. It's a it's a it's a charming game. So I do have to play more of it. I did stream the first uh, level. Okay. It's a silly game. Yeah, it's very silly, but it's it's great though. Um, Spellbreak is like Fortnite with magic. Oh, I saw that. It didn't. I mean, <sighs> I mean that's a huge. I mean, Fortnite. You can't dismiss Fortnite as one of the biggest titles. It's just not, Fortnite's never been yeah. my thing, but it's very popular. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you know, but it's magic. Enough, okay, I still cool. haven't played it. Yeah, surprise! You said yeah. oh, you of all people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I have played that one. Have you? Oh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, you know, I, I, my kids are really. My youngest is really into it. He's ten, and he's like, he's, he's, he's the the one of the better kids at school. So he's gotten kind of popular from being good at Fortnite. It's kind of funny. Oh wow! Awesome. <laughs> They're like, so, so you're the master, game. huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's funny because you've seen kids like just this past summer. This dude made three million dollars. Three million. Being... Sixteen years old, right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. phenomenon. So seeing a game that's like kind of ripping it off, obviously. I mean, what platform we didn't rip off Mario? Yeah, so, pretty much yeah. same type of thing. Yeah. Um, am I gonna play it? Probably not, but. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to do decently unless there's only room for Fortnite. That's yeah. the problem with something like that is that mm-hmm. nothing else can break into there unless like Apex Legends tried and it, it was making a name for itself. If they like magic, bit. they'll like it. But if you like, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I guess I guess if you make it more like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff, yeah. maybe. But for me, not, not something I'll play. Yeah. Um, Dreams is finally getting released. It's been on, uh, what is it, Alpha? Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, it's been, mm-hmm. it's, people are making stuff for it for a very long time now. And from what they showed in the trailer, that stuff looks crazy. I saw Wipeout. You know, somebody made Wipeout over it. <laughs> it's yeah. ridiculous what yeah. you can make in that game. So as a, as a creator, it's that's a dream. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dream game. <laughs> it's the name. So they said it's going to be released in February 14th. So uh, they a lot of February, uh, February release dates. Yeah, that's for uh, Valentine. So I wonder if they're going to have a Valentine game in there. Uh, so it's about a little big planet creators. So they're very, they're very good, good yeah. games. I mean, it was a little floaty. simple. Simple games, I they, like them. Though. <laughs> yeah, they have a, a charm to them. It's almost like a, a Mega Man type type thing, but it's floaty. I don't know. They got to fix that. <laughs> floaty. <laughs> it is <laughs> the way they jump around and stuff. Yeah. How do you Let's describe see. that game? It's <laughs> floaty. floaty. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one is the next one is your game. So yeah. super liminal. Super liminal. Super liminal looks good, yeah. man. Super who? 
Super liminal. It's uh, the game I was telling you. About. Oh, yeah, that one that you were going crazy. It's, about, it's, a, it's like a puzzle adventure uh, platformer, 3D platformer type of game. And it's a game of uh, perspective. Yeah. So, like, um, you know, you have to just figure out how to get out of your, your area or whatever. You're like, imagine just being in a dream and you're trying That's to navigate everything. through your dream and <laughs> escape. But you have, like, a narrator, too, which, like, talks to you as you're moving Very around. Very PC-like. Yeah. But it, it looks cool. It, it reminds me of uh, Portal. Mm. Uh, on how uh, Portal was Chalk is like no yeah, not yeah. Portal oh, yeah. <laughs> anything but Portal I'm not playing that again we, uh, just so you know Mike we did a, uh, a co-op uh, me and uh, Big Chalk over here uh... that fries your brain <laughs> <man>. <laughs> fries we your got brain. stuck so oh my god yeah watching y'all play that game was hilarious <laughs> they were getting so frustrated I'm like this is why I don't play games like co-op that. puzzle game oh, it's rough. that game is rough yeah. Portal's but a good fun. game though I mean, yeah no it's fun it is I it really it. is but I can't go through that again. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> the next game was a an expansion called for Kingdom Hearts three called uh I saw that. Remind. Okay. They have this whole thing with Re, like it's a I never villain. got into Kingdom Hearts, man. Never got into it. Yeah, I played the first one, but I think that was it. I never revisited it. It never, it never yeah. got you like that yeah. to bring you. Yeah. Disney characters. I think if we were younger, it does maybe. Have a yeah. I think if we were younger, we'd probably be all over that game. Yeah. Maybe. It'd what be like how Final here? Fantasy was for us when we were little. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Plus yeah, yeah. Disney. I mean, they yeah. went crazy for it. Yeah. But I mean, the story I've heard has gone all over the completely <laughs> bonkers. <laughs> yeah. So nobody understands what's going on in it yeah. except for like a diehard. Mm. But <laughs> what was it? Video game donkey. Yeah, the video on the uh, story on it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, it was yeah. like that's exactly how it is. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was nonsense. just making fun of it. But no, he was, he was probably was trying to do actual stuff. What yeah. it was, and he I'm was like, like, "This oh, is the clone on. of a clone of a clone of a clone." <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. what is happening here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I played the first one. Camera was a little wonky for me, so I didn't play it. Yeah. Because you know there was other stuff out. Yeah. Right. But it looks good. It always looks good, yeah. especially the third one. But like I said, I'm not. I'm not gonna play that. But people were excited about it. Um, then the next one was Predator Hunting Ground. Yeah, that looked good. Oh, that looked, that good, looked really man. good. It was interesting. It looked good. It I saw the demo of that at uh, Comic Con. Did you? Um, yeah. You it, didn't tell us about it. I sure did. There you go. <laughs> was that, <laughs> is that like a take did. off of like the Friday the Thirteenth game? Yes. Yeah. It is. Right. Yeah. So that that yeah. game is fun. Yeah. It's by it, the same it, people. It, it kind of has yeah, mechanics yeah. that are reminiscent of uh, of the Arkham games. Okay. The way you sneak around and you're above in the, in the yep. tree line, yeah, yeah, it's it's it looks looks pretty fun. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's the same premise as in Friday the Thirteenth when someone is chasing and then you gotta go against the humans. So this is like someone is the predator and you gotta go against the humans. That's so good. oh, fun. I saw a lot of I saw a lot yeah, of. No, I cool. never played the Friday Thirteenth. It was free. I think I downloaded I it. it. Didn't play it, but I watched a lot of it online. It seems pretty fun, but it was very janky. Like that game is what, Friday 13th? Pretty busted, well, yeah. I think I see it. Well, this, it was someone, initially. Yeah, they had a lot of patching kick- to do. Yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah, hopefully this one is that. a more polished version. Was it a version. Kickstarter too, right? I'm not sure. I think so. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It, it was, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Adam Sessler, uh, I think, was uh, was uh, part of that. Really? Uh, yeah. He started that? I believe, yeah. Wow. I believe he was like a big uh, vocal person in the... He messed up. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I, damn. <laughs> Whoa, this is his fault. Damn. All right. You think I would have played that, being as that's my name? I know, like in your Jason fan. <laughs> Get it? Jason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, moving on. So another platinum game was uh, Babylon's Fall. This is by Square and Platinum, mm-hmm. and that looked a lot like Near and Dark Souls, kind of. Yeah, obviously, it says armor, so everyone says Dark Souls every time they see armor now. Two games I haven't played, but mm-hmm. Near it. it like the the combat in it looked like Devil May Cry and Nier. Yeah, I and got that can, vibe from it. You could definitely tell it's a platinum game. Mm-hmm. Uh, they didn't have much to show. It was like one area. Everyone's complaining about the colors. I'm like, all right, whatever. What it's else? Just a trailer, like man. <laughs> exactly. Just a trailer. Relax. People want to condemn stuff yeah. for like a two minute trailer. Uh, that's yeah. the risk you run when you're developing a game. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Or, but, or a game or a movie based on a game. Right. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Especially a movie based on a game. <laughs> exactly. But. I mean, look good to me. When they say it's a Dark Souls game, I think they just mean a polished third-person game now. It doesn't even mean like, oh, it looks hard like that game or that. It just, yeah. it looks really? like it's a polished game. <laughs> I always think they make it like the difficulty levels like off the charts when they say it's like, oh, this is the 
That's what the they Dark Souls of, of, you know. Yeah. Is that's that defined used to the be. same way as floaty? Are you guys creating a big <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's Dark that's Souls that's floaty. Yeah. You know? That's why I need to know a certain vernacular. Yeah, you know. <laughs> no, that's totally different. Yeah. <laughs> this is solid. This is solid. <laughs> <laughs> Not floaty. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone so, watching is like floaty. That's our, yeah. Dark that's our review of. Uh, <laughs> hey, play Little Big Planet. You'll agree with me. You'll agree with me. Floaty. And then play and then play Mega Man X and you'd be like, oh floaty, yeah, this is man. definitely floating. Floaty. I'm finding that in the dictionary, floaty? man. That even it's definitely a word. Stop it. So <laughs> and then they threw us for a loop. Obviously, with the leaks and everything, it right. was not a surprise. Yeah. But they said, now we're gonna show you the one player like Capcom. They said, now we're gonna yeah. show you the one player part of the uh, Resident Evil Renaissance. Right. Or resistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> the one player part of that was like, okay, what is this gonna be? Because no one was really anticipating. The, the Resident Evil Resistance game because it didn't look that great and it was made by a third party who wasn't Capcom. And they also had a lot of uh, demos. Uh, and they showed it and, and it was and like, nah, it was okay. Like, unfinished. Yeah. So it was yeah. like, oh, now I'm going to show you the one player part of this. And then <laughs> we were like, what do you mean? <laughs> this is Resident Evil 3. What do you, you can't trick us. <laughs> right, right. So it pops up. We're like, yeah, of course, it's Resident Evil 3. But imagine if we didn't know, though. <laughs> and we're like, wait, yeah. they just tried to trick us and just throw Resident yeah. Evil in as a, a extra? Yo. <laughs> That's the game. Yeah. Well, I got tricked in the in the uh, trailer when they showed the uh, when they showed first, first person. person. They were tricking us like it was first and person. And I was like, no, don't go back to the I first waited. person. Man. <laughs> I waited. Because as soon as I see anything first person when it yeah. comes to Resident Evil, I get very angry. I guess. Yeah, I was too. Yeah, I got very yeah. angry. I was like, no. It was and very I, fast paced though. Because they showed a lot of her hands. I'm like, are yeah. they doing this new shit? I swear to God, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> and then she bust out like the side. And yeah, that's why yeah. I said, yes. I'm like, thing. thank you, thank yeah. you. It looked like Mirror's Edge, Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I would have flipped. I would have. Oh, oh my God. God. no. You gotta run and flip and jump off the wall. That shit would have been floaty as hell. (laughs) Yeah! Yo, we're gonna get a t shirt and a nail shirt. That says floaty. (laughs) And only you will know what we're talking about, Mike. Like, like, sticks in quotes, floaty. (laughs) Yes, sticks has to wear it, though. No one else. No one else. (laughs) It would be it, the 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 game with the the blue. Yeah, Yeah. it's the game. There you go. You'll float too. But look good. It looked awesome. Resident Evil looked amazing. Yeah. Awesome. Definitely mm-hmm. a game of the show. What do you think about Jill's redesign? You like it? I like it a lot. I like it a lot, too. Same. I like Carlos' design. Okay. Yeah, Carlos' design is better. No, Corny looks Carlos back in the day. Carlos yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Carlos looks like a monster. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is my thing. Resident Evil 3 back in the day was a, a throwaway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that was an extra title just for cash grab. Cash grab, yeah. right. Now, it looks like they may have restructured it so it can be what it More. was supposed to be. Yeah. But More. plus, not just a cash grab. And it was grab. a fast game. It was well, like so. It was done so quick. Well, this yeah. one is uh, it's scheduled to be released in, in April. Right? Yep, and it was so and fast. That now. makes me believe that you know, because uh, Resident Evil Two remake was done in uh, release in February, so that makes me think that like they were they had this plan the whole oh, time. Oh, easily, yeah. yeah. Like, they were same this time. Was, like done at the exact same, same time. time. But they already had the assets mostly because it's right. in between one. Yep. What is it? One and two, right? Yeah, in mm-hmm. between one and two, yeah, so yeah, they're yeah. gonna use a lot of the same area. But it looks like they're outside, right, in the city, right. which is awesome. I love that. Wait, yeah, I love so. it. It's like they developed, a, they did the exact same thing that they did years ago. And we'll get Chalk to stream it. <laughs> Chalk is scared of these, oh. horror, these horror games, so we just want him to do them. Well, I, still, I still remember playing the first Resident Evil and oh, going yeah. down a hallway and the dogs jumped out of the windows. I, Yo, oh, that's, I remember that. Crap that. Like, yeah, man. Damn it. That was classic. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone Action horror, that. I can do because I get a lot of ammo. Survival horror, no, 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 no. <laughs> you gonna play resistance? Nah, bro. You gonna be the only one to play resistance? Yeah, Maybe. Right. I'm, like, yeah, wow. play resistance. I'm gonna play it as Tofu. You yeah. think he's in it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a character. In I just want to see them do uh, Code Veronica next. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, man. I hope yeah. they're working on that right I now. I hope they're, yeah, I hope they're working on that. And they're going to say, in June, it's released. Nah, yeah. imagine. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. anybody hasn't played that, that's that's definitely a recommended yeah. uh, playthrough. Absolutely. They'll wait till PS5. <laughs> like, oh man, we got to wait years now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the last one they said, they said that's the end of the show. They had a 25 year anniversary right. type thing from the uh, creator, right. the father of uh, PlayStation. That's okay. Mm-hmm. And then they had, uh, oh, but one more thing yeah. <laughs> the Ghost of Tsushima. Okay. And it wasn't, it was like a teaser. Mm-hmm. And they said, watch the trailer at the game was Peace out. <laughs> 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 that was basically what it was. And I was like, ah, you got to end it that way? Really? Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, that game looks incredible, also. Right. But from so that, the whole, the whole that's PS5 like, only, though, right? Uh, no, oh, I didn't say it was PS5 at all. Oh, Not I yet, at least. PS5. Okay. 
Yeah, the, um, uh, the way they pushed it back, it could be. But I mean, it's probably gonna be playable on both, and then use some enhancements on five. Probably right. that background looks crazy though. I've never yeah. seen grass and trees move that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That so really it nice. wouldn't surprise me if they said it was only PS5. Yeah. It would make mm-hmm. sense. People were hating on state of play because Ow. because Nintendo does their direct so big. Right, you know, of like they do they're it. good. They 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 do it so perfect. But so, but Sony did it bad for a long time, and now they're getting way better. Yeah, they're getting I, I just like the fact that they announced Resident Evil Three in there. I'm like. I don't even really care about anything else you guys have to talk about. You did the right thing. You talked about Resident Evil 3. I'm happy. We're good. We're good. It's a, it's a successful I mean, state of play. A, and we're good. But, I saw some good stuff there. Yeah, there was some decent stuff, but, you know, you know I was yeah. excited. I'm about not a Resident Sony Evil. guy, so, you know. Listen, it should have been, it shouldn't have been leaked mm. if they didn't. I know, kind of ruined the, everything. The Resident Evil stuff, that should have been the last thing they did, and yeah. they should have tricked us. Yeah. That would have been, yeah. yeah. been amazing. I agree. I agree. But because it got botched, it was like, yeah, yeah. show it. They should have showed it first. Yeah. <laughs> Killed the whole get it out the way. I just think nowadays with social media, it's hard to keep it secret, man. Yeah. It's really tough. Well, they didn't mistake. They updated. Like, look, everyone's watching. There's too many snitches. Gotta take care of the snitch. Yeah, man. Everyone's watching the websites and the uploads and like, oh, they have three three things on private. What could it be? Oh, yeah, it says yeah. this in the code name. Yeah, you can't put up a website man. without no, the name. It's, it's rough. No, people it's... are very, uh, they're like detectives. Man. Yeah, man. Crazy. They'll find it. They'll be like, look at this. I see an eyeball. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Chris Redfield's eyeball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this Chris's eye? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turn it to Sherlock Holmes. And... <laughs> exactly. No, it's what? Chris's eye. What is this? <laughs> but, uh, uh, moving on. Yes, man. All right. So, oh, Xbox plans have been leaked. And yeah. moving to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, everything's been PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5, PlayStation yeah. 5. And, and yeah. Xbox Scarlet didn't really talk about anything. Nothing. So, right now, they announced, well, basically, they, there's rumors that they are releasing two consoles. One cheaper one and one, you know, advanced one. And right off the bat, instead of waiting until the mid of the uh, of the thing, like, the mid- midlife of the console. Yeah. So this is this is so rumor, or this is like confirmed. It's been they've been saying it for like everywhere, and it's been dropping like, oh, we're gonna work on this and this, this and this, this and this. So now yeah. it's called uh, Anaconda, mm-hmm. and no Nicki Minaj and <laughs> Lockhart. So, <laughs> so I don't know. What do you think of having two SKUs at the beginning, like for people who can't afford the the big guy, like a like a cheaper version. Yeah, it like depends a, like what the a, price difference is. Right, yeah, right, right. definitely. So according to the specs of this, I'm fifty dollars. Go... I'm getting it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to go into all the specs of this system because, like I said, it's all rumors right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they said that from the specs, it could be a lot more expensive than people expect it to be for the for the higher price one. Yeah. Oh man. Which a lot a lot higher is a hundred dollars more. Like right. if, even if it's a hundred dollars more, five that's six way too much money. Six hundred dollars. Right. Yeah, I think it's six hundred. That's insane. Which I will never get that. That is insane. Ever. That's a lot of money. Well, they, if they said they're using a the twenty eighty chipset, that's going for like six hundred just for the chipset right now. So then again, I, I thought about this the other day, and like if they release it for six hundred dollars, there's cell phones that are like a thousand. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm like, on, like wait a minute. <laughs> the, only way I'm get, pay that. the only way I'm paying six hundred is if they have like that. Uh, that retro mania on there, then they yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I mean, they yeah. Know. <laughs> Which actually, I'm glad you said that because that actually uh, goes to the game. Like, I don't care about a system. I don't care about, about the specs or anything. It's about the games that are on it, man. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. what. And Xbox has always been falling short on that. Yeah. Well, they better have some announcements. They better have something going. Yeah. yeah. I, you hear all this stuff about them buying all these companies and buying all these haven't studios, anything since. But they haven't nothing. Wait on it. Wait on it. Yeah, yeah. Wait on it. Yeah. 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 Not they, even paid by them. Yeah. If they have Wait a cheaper, it. listen. If they have a cheaper version, so be it. Okay. I probably won't get the cheaper version because you're right. gonna be like, I want the one that does better. The one that looks better. Yeah. But if they match the price, they have to match. They have to take a loss. If it if if it is, they have to take a loss and match what PlayStation is doing. Right. What's Whatever it is. Well, I think if they're doing two, one of them's got to come under PlayStation. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Maybe all digital. I don't know. Maybe get rid of the drive. On one, yeah, right. just for people who just want to download the games, give them a reason. I mean, I don't yeah. know, I don't well, know what's the big difference, but that's when it comes to Microsoft, out. though, they have deep pockets, they just and, throw money at it, and they can't, they yeah. can afford to like, <laughs> yeah, they can go. afford, they already lost this uh generation as far as, far as like consoles, yeah, right? but they didn't do no, nah, nah, wait, they, they still got a chance, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. just accept Stop it, man. just accept it. Oh, yeah. Halo is not here. <laughs> To no, save your ass. They, 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 <laughs> they really, like Sony. Fun. Sony has a lot to lose, so they have. That's why you're hearing all this stuff about everything you know, yeah. in their system. And they have a lot to lose. So They're they always have, active. They have to do. Sony's good. always active. Microsoft, it's like, eh, you know, whatever. They it's need like, to announce something deal. though. They something. need to announce something more than to get people more. excited. Yeah, because I'm not excited about damn thing. 
Well, <laughs> you, well you haven't heard anything. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> Scarlet, okay, Anaconda? It's just okay. names to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, it's all specs, but it's but like, all right, what games are coming out? Yeah. I don't know. E3, they better have a big announcement. Yes, 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 I'm yes. sure. By June, they, they better they have, have everything ready. They have to blow everybody away. I hope that's what they're doing. I hope. Maybe. I hope so. Maybe. Man. Keep no, it cold. Call it Xbox. Call, call, call it that. <laughs> Just leave it. Scarlet. I thought you said call Xbox garbage. A garbage? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what you said. <laughs> no. Dude, Xbox is so real. Dude, no, yeah. Xbox uh, 362. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 362. <laughs> 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 about 720. Yeah, 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 that was an old rumor. Yeah, yeah. You guys are killing me right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's move on because you got, we got to get yeah. to the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Last we got one more. Right here. So, the indie world for Nintendo. Yeah. These are always interesting because these titles are always something you don't expect. And they are very varied. So, I'll go through the, the titles real quick. Mm-hmm. And there's a title that was missing from here. If yeah. You to, if you like yeah, to chime yeah. in. Yeah, on seriously. On yeah, yeah. That what been would you have to this. say about that, man? Uh, you know, I don't know what. We're actually trying to talk to Nintendo to see when we're closer to release how we, you know, get involved in that if we can. Okay. Mm. But, you know, I, we'd love to. But I think it's something that they kind of reach out to you if they're interested uh, in your game. Gotcha. Oh, really? Oh, gotcha. So they should be calling you any second? I hope I'm so. Gonna, I hope yeah, so, man. I'm going to spam their social media. Like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Nonsense. Yeah. Well, they started out their whole, whole presentation with a sports story. It looked like Golf Story, which I love. That's a mm. great game. Yeah, that was a good game. And it looked like a sequel to it. And I was like, wait, he knocked the, the golf ball to a tennis. A tennis yeah, it's all sports. <laughs> and then he started playing that. Then he started playing soccer and volleyball. It looked and good. I'm like, what the hell? All right, I'll take that. So it looked good. It, it threw a twist in there. So I'm interested. Oh, no, I think they should have just gone one at a time. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Different and sports. The final, right? final yeah. one would have should have been sports story. Yeah, 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 like yeah, five different titles, right? yeah. I think they just they just went <laughs> they all threw in. it all in there. Yeah. I would have squeezed out a lot of content. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, Final I always just hit the ball. I always just hit the ball story. to the tennis thing and made it tennis. <laughs> Call it a day. Tennis would be a tennis perfect story. segue right from golf. To yeah. Tennis. yeah, tennis story. Then basketball. And then bowling story. <laughs> bowling story. Uh, yes. <laughs> Very bowling easy story. stuff. <laughs> and then they went to Streets of Rage, which we've been waiting for. <laughs> well, I'm not going by a list, but I'm just going by the name, the stuff that. The excitement. Go by the excitement. The highlights. So they announced Adam Hunter in Streets of Rage. God story. bless. Looks like Luke Cage with hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, he looked like yeah. Obama and Blade. Obama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obama. He did look like Obama. I swear to <laughs> God. I, I saw. I saw him. I said. Obama was get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Hunter. I said Adam. Oh shit, that's crazy. <laughs> that game is looking fabulous. Like yeah. way better oh, than oh, it should. Yeah. The like, original cast, man, I'm so pumped for that. And his daughter, yeah, so pumped so far. And I still think there's probably gonna they're gonna announce more. Yeah, one except mid 2020, so at least we got a date. Yeah, kind of. So still waiting on it. One or two more real characters. Good. Music That's is looking so. good or well, sounding good. But uh, then they had this other game, Super Mash. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Very weird. Yeah. So you mash up your games and you put like genres together, and it makes a mix of a game. And there's so many mix and match things you could do in it, changes the game completely. So it's letting the game decide what type of game it is. You could say, I want a platformer and a role playing game, and they mash it together. That's crazy. And make it up. We had a game that looked like The Sims. I was like, what is going on? I'm intrigued. Weird. How do you put that much time in? Just technically, that sounds like amazing to be able to just do that. Yeah. Yeah. If they said it's a game that makes games. Yeah, so you get a what? different game every time you play. <laughs> is it self-aware? <laughs> oh, it's Skynet. Yeah. It's Skynet. Uh, it's live. Learns your okay. name. And if, if, they could, if they could like get rid of the floatiness in the game, <laughs> you know, like, I don't think that might be an issue. But we're gonna find out because it's exclusive on Epic right now on the PC, and then it's coming to all the other systems later. All right. Um, well, I'm gonna try it. Well, actually, I don't know if it's all the systems, but on Switch, one of us um, will try it. Definitely gonna try that out. Yeah. It looks one of those got to be good. <laughs> one of those has to be good. In there, right? <laughs> one of those mixes has to be good. Yeah. And what if it's like five minutes and then you're like, ah, what the hell? What that <laughs> game? game is this? <laughs> <laughs> and then they announced a game that they had people testing out. It was Dauntless. Okay. So it's a free shadow drop. It's a Monster Hunter, Fantasy Star Online type game, and they added crossplay to it, so now you can play it with everybody. That's good, That's including okay. PlayStation. Crossplay is always a yeah, great it's always a positive idea. thing. Well, now PlayStation's involved, so well, not really my type yeah. of game. But, yeah, not my but, type of game, but it, it looks uh, pretty good though. But it looks good, especially it looks good. for free. Yeah, mm-hmm. not bad. Yeah, but will I play it? I'll, I'll play it before can't. Fortnite. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> not about that life. Yeah, you can't hate on that. Then they had uh, Liberated, which is like a flashback. That looked good. That looked good. Graphic novel type. What's that? 
It looked like there was a graphic novel in it. Comic Zone and uh, my friend Pedro. It looked like <laughs> yes. all combined. Oh yeah. All combined. Yeah. Looked really. Yes. I was intrigued by it. It's intrigued. And inside. Mm. Like all that stuff. It's mm-hmm. it 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 pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah. And then they dropped the bomb at the end with the creator of Axiom Verge and he announced Axiom Verge 2. He's been working on it for four years. That's crazy. Oh, wow. And I is think he, he by himself? The, <laughs> he did the first one by himself. Yeah, Holy yeah. shit. He might have gotten help for this one, hopefully. That was like a fan game. It'll make you go like, crazy. I don't know working how he on. did that. Yeah, yeah man. man. And that That's game was game. awesome. Yeah. That was a Metroid type game. By and it really was. Four years working on a game by yourself. Just in your, on your own time. Like, <laughs> that had to be like. Well, that's the same, the same guy. That guy who did uh, Stardew Valley did it all on his own, yeah, too. Yeah, same yeah, guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. It by himself, too. It's a yeah. different guy, but I don't know how those guys just lock themselves in a room, it seems. That's so. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Andy, Andy's it's crazy. And they're, high, they're like top selling. <laughs> Are game, they married right? with kids? Yeah. 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 Uh, no, yeah, I doubt it. Yeah, I'm working on the game. It sounds like my house a little bit right now. I just want to throw the fuck get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, but I, 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 throws a stick at him. I only have one kid. It's this program. Oh my god. Yeah. Nah, these guys. I mean, it, it takes a lot of dedication to pull off something like that. Absolutely. Man. And to make it good, for that matter. Like I could be in the basement and make a picture and like, yeah, I'm working on this for years. <laughs> it's not a game. Like that's so much programming. I have a ridiculous. concept. That's all I got. And who like tested? Who beta tested that? Like for bugs? Like does he have to go he, through a play kids, again? His kids, man. Yeah. He's all his kids. That's I need what a I family do. for something. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> it just has to drive you mad. Uh, you have yeah. to. You gotta have like a light on or something like that. When you see this light, you can't go. <laughs> don't disturb me. That's it. <laughs> if you do an animation <laughs> and it like clicks and you're like, oh, why did it turn black? <laughs> Find that bug or you in. don't eat. <laughs> this is your whole life right here. Yeah. You're like testing it, sobbing. Like, oh, yeah. Sorry, you don't beat the first stage. You got to sleep outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah, it looked good, uh, and that was a good. It's a good presentation. Don't make me a creator, man. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. All the Nindy stuff looks great all the time. Yeah, I'm, I always yeah. expect good yeah. stuff from the Nindy. Absolutely. So hopefully we see some uh, retro mania there. Hell yeah! Absolutely. Absolutely. Soon, coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's Coming it for that. And time for the main event. The main, main event. The main event, yes. Scheduled like... for one fall. <laughs> one one fall. fall. <laughs> Still cage match <laughs> with ladders. By the way, this match is no DQ. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, let's get into the thick of things here. All right. Okay, so let's see Get your questions, questions ready, y'all. Um, you guys had already your your questions. Uh, I have no questions. Like, <laughs> no, no. You, you guys like <laughs> similar questions than mine, so I'm just gonna say mine. Gonna, While I'm you guys are doing that, let's just shout out the our oh. current uh, subscribers or followers. Yeah. Blackbeard J, thank Black you for following us. Oh, thank you, Let's Blackbeard. Ricky the Rocket, Thanks, thank you for sir. following us. Cheers to you. Cheers. Cipher twelve thirteen, thank you for following cheers, us. Cheers, cheers. Sandman fourteen sixty nine, thank you for following cheers, us. Cheers, cheers, cheers. We appreciate you guys. you guys. God bless you y'all. Guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, we appreciate it. All right. Uh, so, all right, I'll start off because I only have one question that you guys didn't already ask. Yeah, you guys had every what? question that I wanted to ask. So, uh, so tell everybody who you are and what's your uh, what game you're doing. All right, so my name is Mike Herman, and I am uh, the the owner of RetroSoft Studios, who's developing Retromania Wrestling, a new 2D arcade style game, kind of a throwback 2D pixel art. Uh, the official sequel to the WrestleFest arcade game, uh, back from you know 1991. I don't want to date myself too much, but really just a throwback to those old 2D, uh, late 80s, early 90s wrestling games like Saturday Night Slam Masters, uh, WrestleFest, obviously Wrestle War, the old WWF titles, and just bringing that kind of uh, pick up and play aspect back to wrestling games. Yeah, nice. awesome. yes, that's awesome, nice. man. And I couldn't be more excited. That's all, and, <laughs> and by the way, uh, I used to kick my ass. They used to take all my money, man. They used to cheat after yep. the third play. Oh, yeah, great. I know. We, we, I was... we, we took out those things. The, the, that floaty shit's gone. <laughs> good. Good. Don't need any of No floaty wrestlers. No floaty game. wrestlers. No. Actually, it was. They jumped um, really high, man. <laughs> I was going to say uh, real quick, um, I wore this T-shirt in your honor here. I like <laughs> it. I see it. I just <laughs> see it. Everybody <laughs> else. Yeah. For everybody Dang. listening. For everyone who's listening to the uh, the podcast, uh, just to let you know, it's uh, Ric Flair on the Wu-Tang symbol. Woo! Yeah, 
Wu Tang. Yes. Do you That's think right. Rick Flair knows who Wu Tang is? <laughs> That's what. Hell yeah. Well, they question. should. They should know. Yeah, everybody knows. They better know. know. If he knows who the Migos are, he needs to. He knows who Wu Tang yeah. is. I know Wu Tang knows who Rick Flair is. <laughs> I don't know about the other way around. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so yeah, my question for you, uh, Mike, is uh, yep. how long has uh, Retromania been in development? So I guess the first seed was probably planted seven years ago. Ooh. Um when I first was just doing it as a hobby, uh, I loved, you know, I was a little maybe obsessed with WrestleFest growing up, uh, you know, came out when I was a teenager. I played a ton of it in the arcade and I, I always was waiting for a remake to be or not a remake, but a sequel to be made. Hmm. And they tried it on the iOS and it just was a very big disappointment for me. Um, but then like probably two years ago, I decided I was going to do it for real. Uh, and that's when I hired a, a, a programmer to help me do it, who had a little more, more uh, game development experience than I did, which uh, mine is basically none. So <laughs> I, it wasn't hard to find somebody who had more experience than me. Uh, but my background is software engineering, but it's on the business business and financial application side. So oh, okay. um, I could I could plan things out and I could design things, but I really needed somebody in that had experience with game development. And then we grew from there to now we have like, you know, 13 or 14 people working on the game. Awesome. Now, I would say, awesome. to answer the question, like two years, basically, we've been working on it. Okay. Okay. Awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, well, you have a question. Okay. I'll go. Um, a lot of these are a little quick. Oh, what is your favorite wrestling engine all time? Of all the wrestling games that you've ever played, what's your favorite uh, wrestling engine? Uh, that's a loaded question. Because it, uh, <laughs> well, it depends when you grew up. Because... If I was a little younger, obviously the choice is Aki's engine. Ah. No, no mercy. Uh, WrestleMania 2000. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, NWO versus w WCW versus NWO. Revenge. Um, you know, I you know I think probably it's because I'm old, but my you know I I grew up on the 2D stuff, hmm. and I, I really like the 2D um, stuff. But I can't deny that you know the the stuff that Aki came out with was really good. You know, mm. so I would say an overall engine that might take the cake, but just for a fun factor, I really still enjoy to this day uh, 2D games um, in general. I love pixel art from a just a aesthetic, uh, absolutely from artistic standpoint. Uh, whereas if you look back at like No Mercy, I, I wouldn't say those graphics really hold up to today's standards. <laughs> no, they don't really. They don't. Mm. Whereas if you what, play what older right 2D here. games, they kind of do hold up because they still look good. You know? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, yeah. and I think that's what really drew me to that, and then just the nostalgia aspect of WrestleFest is really what drove me to this, uh, to this project. Mm, awesome, nice. So, uh, what type of, uh, what type of mechanic does your game have? Like, obviously, it's not the Aki engine, right? But right. What, yeah. what inspired, what inspired that one, other than the WrestleFest engine there? Yeah. So, I would say we're, we're, and just to be clear, we're not like we have no code from the original WrestleFest. It's all yeah. done from scratch. So I'm talking inspiration. Uh, yeah, but definitely heavy inspiration on all those early 2D uh, wrestling games. But if you had to say, like, I would say it's a cross between WrestleFest and Fire Pro, where oh, we, we okay. kind of borrowed some stuff. The concepts Fire Pro uses as far as – and not – I don't even think Fire Pro was the first people to do it. But, you know, just having more variety in the moves you can do, more control over what moves you can do. Whereas in the original WrestleFest, it was – it would you could do a snapmare and a body slam, and then you'd automatically start doing a suplex. Mm, you yeah. know, and then you'd automatically do your finisher. So we took that kind of out of it because I think people – and I'm, personally, I wanted more control over which moves I was doing. Absolutely. So we definitely increased the variety of moves. Um, the types of moves, anything you can do in wrestling, we want to include in the game. So just simple stuff that WrestleFest didn't have, like corner Irish whips and corner moves and, hmm. uh, you know, superplexes. And you I know, saw that. I was yeah. like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So all the all the stuff that you can expect from a wrestling game made in 2019, 2020, we should hmm. we're, we're striving to get in our game. Hmm. That's awesome. okay. So, but yeah, but uh, more control over the moves you do, uh, you know, a ton of different match types in addition to just the standard tag team that was Saturday night's main event in the, the rumble Royal rumble. We call ours retro rumble due to, yeah. due to, due to, due to copyright. Like right. Right. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I'm not, that but sounds better. I like those, that sound. We're adding as many different match types as we can. Okay. And I know it's still in development, but, uh, so I have a question from the uh, from the chat. Okay. Uh, Blackbeard J is asking: Will there be a Victory Road Championship Gauntlet? Also, will there be online multiplayer eventually? 
So we're doing like a victory road kind of, we're doing a story mode, which will take you through basically different decisions that you'll have to make um, and go through each of those phases. So one of the choices that you'll be, not to spoil it, but one of the choices you'll have very early on in our story mode is whether or not to join the BWO. <laughs> right, right? So, That's funny. And that, depending on what decision you make, that'll take you through. So it's definitely a multi-threaded story. It's nice. not super complicated, uh, but it's just like a fun story. We actually hired a writer um, to write the story who happens to be a big wrestling fan. So it's a pretty cool story. I think something I'm looking forward to playing through all the way. Um, and then it kind of works as a tutorial as well. So it'll teach you how to play the game. It'll force you to play all the different match types in the game as well. Okay. Uh, Excellent. So, and then in addition to that, since we have the NWA license, we'll have a 10 pounds of gold mode and that's your typical kind of play through like a ladder of all the wrestlers in the game to eventually you'd have to beat Nick Aldis for the, the 10 pounds of gold. Hmm. Oh, no. Nice. So, and then to answer the second part, multiplayer, it's something we actually, online multiplayer, we already started working on it, but, um, you know, just past uh, video game history is in looking into it. If you launch with bad online multiplayer, it kills you. So, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. you know, so we're working on it, but if it's not ready, which honestly, I, at this point, I don't think it's going to be ready in the timeline I want it to be. It'll probably come post launch of the game, and it's something we'll add later on. But it's definitely in the works, and it's something we've already started on. That's okay. good. Awesome. awesome. But yeah, but just being a smaller, you know, smaller independent company, unfortunately, we just don't have the resource to add everything we want to. Like, I have a list, wish list that's, you know, 30 pages long of things I want to add to this. But we have to, you know, we have to, you know, bite off in manageable chunks of what we can do and, and still get it out because I think we've gotten a lot of good publicity and we're, we're developing a pretty strong community at this point. So we're, that's all based on a specific release date of early 2020. And we want to we want to get as close to that as we can. Awesome. Okay. okay. Dope. How many players locally are you shooting for? We want eight. So um, but that's dependent on if it's fun. Oh, yeah. gotcha, okay. gotcha. You know, like technically we can definitely do it, but our ring dimensions are, you know, if you think back to the original WrestleFest, the sprites mm. are really big. Yeah. Right, and right, right. So I'm concerned that eight wrestlers in a ring might just not be fun. So wow. it'll definitely be at least six. Um, but we we're gonna try eight, and if it's fun, we're gonna keep it in. That's oh, awesome. okay. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. That sounds cool, man. That's well, eight only for Battle Royal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for Battle exactly. Royal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so I know it's still in development, but are there any modes that you are able to tell us are in the game if there are? Well, so we have, you know, uh, we have we have like uh, three way, four way. They're going to be in. Um, we have two types of cage matches. Uh, we actually. So here's a little bit of an exclusive for you. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. So we coming. have artwork done for, and I got to put this um, without having any copyright infringement. Oh, okay. A double linked cage match. Oh, what do you call oh, that? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, 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 we can't. Double, so the only, the only issue okay. we have with it right now is right now our camera zooms in and out based on mm. whether you're in the ring or out of the ring. Mm. So we're trying to kind of overcome of of how we, if we have to zoom out the ring to show both rings at once. And if you think about it, if you have eight players in there and one player's in ring one on the left side of the screen and the other player's in ring two on the right side of the screen, you kind of have to sit, play zoomed out the whole time. Yeah. Mm. So we're trying to go over – it's not necessarily a technical difficulty, but we have to – the biggest thing in the, every decision I make for the game is based on is that more or less fun than what we currently have because that's like – you can do a lot of cool stuff nowadays, but some stuff, you know, I think sometimes gets lost in, well, yeah, we can do that, but is it fun? You know what I mean? Exactly. So, yeah, that's, a, that's the point. So that's a couple of things we're working on, but the, I would really like that. And the other one that we have artwork in the works for is a scaffold match. So if what? you remember back, yeah. back in uh, wow. the Starcade days, they had the yeah. Night of the Skywalkers. <laughs> Um, <laughs> since the Road Warriors were in that initial match, we have the yeah. Road Warriors, so oh, we want to put them back up on the scaffold. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, that's that's, that's awesome. so awesome. That's cool. You remember man. when he fell off the, the Titan Tron? <laughs> <laughs> that was the Legion of Doom, though. That, yeah. That, 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 that was the Legion of Doom, man. Um, you got a question over there? Yeah. Um, let's see here. Um, with Johnny Retro recently being signed by WWE, I see that he's still in Retromania. Is there any 
anything you can tell us about any other wrestlers that might have either left another company that possibly might be in the works for your game? Well, we tried. I'll tell you right now. We tried to get um, one of the, I'll just say this, one of the recent uh, people that were released in the last five days. Oh, we okay. approached and were turned down. Ah! Unfortunately, they were not interested. Ah, uh, screw so, that. And that's really, you know, that goes. For now, for now, right? For now. <laughs> for, now. For, now. <laughs> for now. You never know in the future. They could change their mind. Absolutely. I mean, we're yeah, open yeah. To, to trying to get anybody if we can afford them right now. You know what I mean? Right. So gotcha, yeah. if, they, if they're willing to work with us and they're interested in it and, mm -hmm. you know, we can, we can get them in and we can agree on the terms of the contract, we're definitely willing to talk to everybody. Um, you know, we're working towards 12 to, to 16 wrestlers at launch, but we're really trying to establish a franchise here. You know what I mean? I think it, yeah. okay. it's what's missing. I think for all of us, obviously are video game fans. And for those of us who like wrestling video games, we have very limited choices right now. Uh, there just aren't a lot of games out there for us to play. And I think there's definitely room for another type of wrestling game out there and that we're trying to be that other type. So we're trying to build a franchise. Yeah, 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 I agree with that wholeheartedly because we we play the 2K series. Yep. Oh, and and we're yeah we play the 2K 2K series and we haven't bought the 2K20. Yeah. But. Before you get into your feelings about the new series or the old oh, no, series, I was just about uh, to, I was, ask him how he feels about the yeah. current state of these <laughs> of these games for wrestling right now. Series, well, yeah. you know, I don't want to. I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus because, like, oh, yeah, as yeah, yeah, a developer yeah, yeah. standpoint, like, you know, I know. You know, they the developers were not ready to release that, you know, no. and I don't think if you would ask them, I, they'd probably say the same thing. Uh, unfortunately, they're under, you know, they got to get a game out every year and it's just the way Deadline. Their, their business operates. And I think they switched. They switched companies. Uh, they they dropped, dropped out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a that's a tough thing to overcome within a year when they're trying to you know, churn out these games every year. It's tough. And that's one of the advantages we have where, you know, like I said, I've been working on this for two years. Mm -hmm. um, but even if we get successful, it's not something I really want to uh, start churning out a game every year because, right. you know, this is really a fun passion project for me. And, um, you know, and it's tough to, you know, there is a business side of things where you don't want to take a bath in it, but it's right. dude, developing a corporate video game for a corporation is completely different, you know, nature of the beast than what we're doing. Yeah, okay. that, that's exactly what I was like talking about. I'm like, yeah, we played the 2K games and like 19. Yeah, we enjoyed 19, but there's some things in it where the, that are like, eh, hmm. you know, like I think they kind of like went away from the formula. And we always would joke around talking about the Aki system. Like, damn, I wish there was an alternative because we're forced to play. We're forced to playing this one wrestling game that has all the wrestlers, like 150 names, you know, with NXT. WWE, you know, like all that in one game. Right. And I wish there was another alternative. And um, then when we saw Retro, I'm like, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> like, like, this is some old school shit. I'm like, okay, I can mess with this. Yeah. So it's 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 good that you know that's coming out because it it gives a little competition to like, all right, if you guys don't come correct, then we'll just go to the alternative where it's fun. Graphics may not be the same, but who cares? You know, right. it's the fun. It's the fun. It's the exactly. games are supposed to exactly. be fun. That's what we're, that's, <laughs> that's what we're going for. No, like, and no, don't get me wrong. I play 2K as well. I play Fire Pro too. You know, mm, yeah. I play all of them. Um, and I just felt like there was something. Fire Pro is a little more simulation than mm -hmm. than our game is. Ours is more of a pick up quicker matches, uh, but still with the same move variety and stuff like that. It's the counter system that we have a problem with in the oh, gosh, man. The counter system is just too <laughs> mm. they messed up the counter system. Quick it's question. Too, yep. Will you be able to kick out of finishers? So yes, but not frequently. Hmm. Okay. So yeah. the way our system is working right now, we're still this is subject to change. I'll, I'll put an asterisk on it. But so we have where you'll you won't be able to do your finisher until a certain point in the match. Because okay. one of the things I liked, and this could even be a user option if we, if people really are against it, but what I what I liked about one of the things I really liked about WrestleFest, right? If I was Jake the Snake Roberts and I hit my DDT, if I got it off, the match was over. If I got the pin, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which, I, which I liked about that. It gives you like that thing of if I hit this move, the match is over. And I think that's what a finisher is supposed to be. Right. You know? Right. Right. Agreed. You want to kick out five times? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so so we're gonna limit the amount of that. If 
that finisher can be done. But at the same token, we do have uh, kind of a near fall mechanic that we're working on, and a, or a second wind kind of as we're calling it right now, okay. where there's a kind of a random chance that you'll kick out of a finisher. Ooh, oh, okay. okay. So okay, it'll it be rare. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, maybe we're still playing with how often it happens, but maybe once every eight to ten matches. So when it, it happens enough where it happens, but not it doesn't happen so much that you don't get psyched every time it happens. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. okay. Like, so it's a button masher. You'll start mashing the buttons and you'll see second wind and you'll gain a little bit of health back and uh, you'll be able to wrestle a little bit longer. So if you have that back and forth match um, and all, and the one guy hits his finisher and you think it's over, but you get the second wind, you pop for it. You know what I mean? It's a real, oh, okay. yeah. and what That's we're cool. seeing in the, in the testing of it is people do when it happens, people are all like, Oh, it's a match. fun that's, reaction yeah, that's to awesome. have. Nice. That's cool. Oh, real quick before someone else goes. The Fatal 4-Way, is it elimination? You can do either. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> so bye. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah, that alone. Elimination yeah. or not. So just off of that alone <laughs> is awesome. more it, important than anything. As long as you don't have to wait for a patch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, that's an easy one. That's an easy one. <laughs> oh, wow. So I have a quick thing. Yeah. Um, so I originally heard of the game when it was... Uh, associated with kind of like the house of hardcore and yep. like some old school ecw guys um and then you know nwa power with the old school retro vibe that they're trying to pull off online um how did that come about because that was awesome news to hear yeah so um a a, a gentleman that works with me as a uh, as a consultant uh, by the name of mike archer he used to work at acclaim entertainment and Ooh. worked on some of the wrestling uh legends of wrestling games Mm -hmm. along with probably 50 to 60 other video game titles. And then he worked for the WWE for like a decade. Wow. And awesome. then okay. he's now an independent consultant. I reached out to him on LinkedIn and he, uh, we had lunch, uh, kept talking. He, he decided he was interested in helping me out with the project. So he has a ton of connections. That's how we got house of hardcore. He knew Dave Lagana from NWA. He got us a meeting with them. Uh, so Mike has been really instrumental in, how, in progressing this game and helping us with these licenses. That's yeah. awesome. Dope. And, and they're all, both of those guys, like Tommy Dreamer, I've gotten to know a little bit. Um, he, great guy. Um, you know, real easy to deal with, down to earth. And the NWA negotiations were pretty easy, quick and easy as well. So oh, that's, that's nice. all good news, man. That's yeah, I remember, yeah. I remember awesome, Magnus. Yeah. From TNA. Magnus from TNA. TNA. <laughs> <laughs> but they're doing their thing over there, man. Yeah. Oh, quick question. Controversial. But uh, oh, <laughs> a lot of people man. online want to know if uh, Jim Cornette is going to be out of this game. <laughs> because that, that's that's a thing online. They just don't. They don't, like we, don't have a, we don't have a contract with him currently. Good. Okay. So, <laughs> um, you know, to be determined. I'll just leave it at that. Whether he gets that or not. I, you know? A lot of people are, wanted to know that answer. <laughs> yeah, people people are on one side of the fence or the other with him. You yeah, know? yeah, just, yeah. But game is looking awesome. Game is looking <laughs> amazing. So I can't wait for it. When's the uh, when's the actual try? When are you trying to bring this up? As you know, as soon as possible, but not until it's done. So we the one thing we did learn from 2K is we don't want to rush it out. Um, yeah. Especially uh, this being our first game as a studio. We'd rather, you know, miss a date. Not that we're trying to miss a date, but we'd rather miss a date and have a complete game that we don't have to patch the hell out of. But the advantage in this day and age is we, we have the ability to patch it, you know. And we mm -hmm. probably have like five or six testers working on it right now, in addition to my kids. They're not the only <laughs> ones, right? But, yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, we find you know, we find stuff every day. So but to answer your question, you know, we're we're shooting for first quarter, like March, April area. I know April second quarter, but um, if you know, we'll probably have a better, a firmer grasp on that uh, by January, probably the second week of January, where we're going to be. Oh, so nice. I'm kind of dodging the question a little bit, but <laughs> okay. I know my answer's no, okay. a little floaty. We haven't said oh, that in a while. <laughs> so you're shooting for WrestleMania weekend yeah. <laughs> in April. <laughs> no, that would be crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Nice. Will, will there be a demo available for the public? So that's, you know, and if this goes back to something we were talking about in one of the news sections, it's like kind of damned if you're due, damned if you don't. Um, where even even the videos we show, you, you get, you know, and it's kind of the nature of social media, but you'll get the comment. And we not that we get a lot. I would say 99% of our feedback's been positive. Either you're, you're really into this or you don't pay any attention. You know what I mean? Right, right. But yeah. 
but you get you get the comments of like, oh, you noticed uh, this bug here, or you don't have a referee. That's that's one we get a lot. There's no referee in the ring yet, and I go, I get it. You know, we're adding a referee, but it's not really. You, what's the best game that? What's the best referee in a wrestling game you've ever played as? Can anyone answer that? <laughs> I can't. It, it's a, it, who cares yeah, about the, yeah, referee? Yeah, yeah. the, the only referee. time that, the only time it matters is if it's a special guest referee where one of these guys can control them. And mess up the match. That's exactly. funny. Right. Right. But other than that, who cares? If the ref I kind of like hitting the referee. Yeah, yeah, the right. referee, yeah, yeah. The referee is fun. If the referee just pops yeah. it on the side of the screen and does a count, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 As long as someone's to... counting yeah. the damn match. Just keep mouth away. That's all. Yeah, but, uh, but you get that. You know, you get questions like that where, so if you have a demo and it's not a perfect demo because it's an earlier development build, you might get mm -hmm. killed on it. So yeah. weighing our options. Maybe when we get closer to release. Right now, we're just demoing it wherever we go. So, and mostly I'm based out of Philadelphia or the Philadelphia area. So mm -hmm. we've gone to several shows in the Philadelphia area and we and game conventions where we demoed it. And I think we're going to be at PAX East this year as well. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. So oh. There. Um, and there's a, there's an outside chance we'll be at the game developers conference as well. Nice. Awesome. Wow, so, so people would rather play a polished game and yes. a non rushed game. So yes. if you want to take your time with it, that's fine right. with everyone. And it'll be a whole lot less floaty, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm always whenever it, somebody right. delays a game, I'm like, please yes, delay yes. it. Right. I want it. I yes. want it to be the way it's supposed Especially to be. I don't want. want I don't want anyone to rush a damn yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. And that's why. And that's why we haven't announced the actual date yet. You know, yeah, I, I don't exactly. want to put one out there and not hit no it. Worries. Take yeah. your time. Yeah, it's no worries, worries man. We'll yeah, wait for it. Because the yeah, second you announce one and you don't hit it, people are gonna go. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. But are there any people you want to or wish that you can add to this game that you are going to try to get, maybe? Uh, uh, there's, I mean, the list is endless. <laughs> you know, we got a great DM from this guy, and it said, it said, can you please add? And then he listed a literally 100 wrestlers. Oh! Like, and, I'm not, and, I, and I'm using the term literally, literally. Yeah. Like he yeah, literally, yeah, yeah. Was it that guy? He, yeah. he listed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't even think of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can think of like five, yeah, and I'm like, yeah. I'm good. Can you, can you put a character in the name Hulk Hogan? Hulk? Not even, not even Hulk. No, yeah, Hulk. Yeah. Hulk. 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 There's nothing to do with that. I can't get sued for that. Yeah, Hulk Hogan. Oh, well, that's what Fire Pro did initially, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you tell or us Golden this? Hulk? I think that was in Mad Yeah, Man. I think yeah, that was yeah. one. Yeah. Golden Hulk. Can you tell us if there will be a uh, character creation mode in it? Yeah, so that's probably number two question next to is there going to be a physical release? Um. But as far as create a wrestler, the, the one not at launch, uh, possibly after launch. And the, the big thing with that is if you if you have a create a wrestler suite and let's say I want to create Stone Cold Steve Austin, I better oh, have I know where it's going. The moves have to be the moves. Gotta be the moves. In order to do a create a wrestler, I need to make not just for the let's say we get fourteen to sixteen characters in our game. All their finishers. Not, I need everybody's finisher and really everybody's three or four moves that they use all the time or people yeah. are going to mm -hmm. say oh this creator wrestler mode stinks i can't add yeah. uh, right. remember when aiken used to have like the fake shane face and you just the, make all you your characters shane out for every him? wrestler <laughs> that's all you got to do really. just name them that give them the colors just call it a day body <laughs> slam if, we're good if not um if not create a player what about uh change your costume colors yeah so that that's uh that's a relatively simple one so we're gonna you're gonna be able to change the colors of the of the wrestlers pretty easily okay mm, nice okay. and will there be a create a belt mode uh that's something you know i'm not that's not super high on the priority list but it's definitely on on our list what about a name your belt mode? Yeah, <laughs> name your belt mode. Like like there you go. That. So we're we've built it around being able to translate all the text right mm -hmm. off the bat to not eliminate things from. So all the basically all the text will be replaceable fairly easily. Awesome. Uh, so we'll be able to do that. One of the things I really want to do is wear your belt to the ring. Uh, and, oh, I was just about to ask <laughs> yeah, you that. Yeah, I yeah, was yeah. just what about was to ask question. you that. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and for the game to keep track of who the current champion is. Yeah, local, absolutely. You know? yes. So That'll if I awesome. if I'm going through like um like uh, let's say we have a tag team tournament mode, like similar to Saturday Night's main event, I want the last boss to change based on whoever is the current champion in the game. Yeah, mm, that's pretty uh, cool. Stuff like that. 
Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, wearing the belt, I think, is one of the most important things that we used to complain about with the old games. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. like, how are you yeah. the champion and I'm wearing yeah. the damn belt? It bothered me. I'll tell you, it bothered yeah. me all the time. Yeah, yeah. Like, the Just don't have them wear the belt over their jacket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <that's worse. laughs> yeah. What did they do that? Um, what game was that? It was Bret Hart. He had it over his was jacket. Was that 2K13? Yeah. Oh, he had the leather jacket. jacket with the belt yeah. over the leather jacket. I'm like, what the fuck is that? He looks an extra fat. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got to be under. It's got to be under. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's awesome! <laughs> what kind of weapons will there be in the game? Ooh, good one. Uh, so we're right now we have chairs in, but we're looking to add, you know, kendo sticks. Um, yes. yes. And really, as much stuff as we cheese graters. Who knows? You know the. <laughs> uh, well, we'll, we got yes. the one thing I got to look into though is how um. Uh, as far as ratings go, and what we can put in and what we can't. So okay. we okay. didn't get to that okay. stage yet. All right. Okay. Is there ladder matches or no? Yeah, ladder. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Again, oh, that's okay. one of those things that's on the list that we want to add at some point. I think ladder is one of the toughest things to kind of like yeah. incorporate in a wrestling yeah. game. Where yeah. it's like thing to make clunky. fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's really like remember, the mechanics of it's weird. Or a cage match. Cage match is kind cage of weird. Cage match, yo. Remember I picked I picked the dude, he just <laughs> I knocked you up and ran you know, the Wade, thing. All right. Two so, seconds, I won the match. What game was it? Was it 2K14 <laughs> or 15? I think it was like three years ago. All right, yeah, we played like <laughs> – we always used to do the custom belts all the time. We'll create our own belts and, you know, we'll stream it. And he picked Wade Barrett. I don't know if anyone knows who Wade <laughs> Barrett is, all right? Had Bad no, news, man. He had no right being in this match at all. <laughs> and I'm fighting somebody. The dude just climbs up the cage and gets out in two seconds. I'm like, this is the biggest crock of shit match ever. No wrestling. Like, no wrestling at all. I'm like, no he threw a punch maybe? Yeah, no. Just, that, that, was, was, that was bad news. Was off the bad news. So, bad if news. in the cage match, at least have them lose enough energy to make it possible right, to get absolutely. over the top. Yeah. Yeah. It's so hard with the There's cage the match, match, man. There's just little things you gotta add to make it not completely yeah. cheesy. That right. got me so mad. I never forgot that. I swear to <laughs> God, it gets me so pissed off. But definitely looking forward to this game. I know you have, uh, you know, you have to go. Yeah, unfortunately, I got to so. cut it a little short today. Yeah, yeah I wish yeah. we could talk for ages. Real yeah, fast. Hopefully, hey, 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 hopefully, uh, we can we can do it again when we closer to the launch. Would be great. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're going to be playing this game, you know. Definitely. So we're going to be streaming this on the channel. I'm just telling awesome, you right definitely. there. So awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Um, well, maybe we can we can talk later about getting you may guys maybe a demo you can stream on there uh, even if we don't have yeah. a wider release. Oh, that yeah. too, and maybe, and maybe putting us in the game too. You know, like, you know? <laughs> no, we'd be the we'd be the toughest faction. I just want to yeah, 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 we'd be, yeah, we'd be right a right. faction. This faction I just, of I just right. want I want a purple cape and I want a leg drop, people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want a bubble <laughs> drop. That's all. I want, <laughs> Real quick, Mike, who is your favorite wrestler all time? You know what, uh, Magnum TA. Uh, <laughs> he, it's the first guy I saw when I started watching wrestling. Um, really? really? And it, I was so, you know, it sucked when he got hurt. Um, and uh, I really, but he's the first guy I remember watching consistently on television. So wow. that was my guy. Oh, all right, all right. Okay. All right. Just so you know, we, we always, or should I say I always harass Rob Van Dam on Twitter <laughs> yes. all the time, oh trying to get God. him on the podcast. I'm yeah. like, you know, you want to be on it, just get on the podcast. I guess I got to go at Tommy Dreamer first, <laughs> try to get him, and then I'll go at RVD. I think that's that's my. You know what, but Mike, he, set that up, Mike. I want right, to. Right, we need, yeah, we need yeah, him, Tommy Dreamer yes. on a level eight five seven yes. podcast. Yes. To make that happen, Mike. One last question. I'm sorry. Um, will there be women in the game? So not currently. Again, that's kind of the same answer I gave with the creator wrestler because we have to do all new models gotcha. uh, to do it right. So the artwork, it would be doubling basically our artwork that we need to do. But it's okay. definitely on our list and kind of higher on the list because we definitely want to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. and is there a – for future plans for Retromania, is there um, – let's say it does really, really well – Possible sequel to that as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Awesome. That's where Level Eight Five Seven is going to make their debut as wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, Looking man. forward to the franchise. Yes, yes. 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 Really much, excited about it, man. Much, uh, right. much luck to you, man. Thanks, thank guys. you so I much really for your time. You. Thanks for having me. Thank awesome. you, man. Thank you for coming on, man. I appreciate right. it. Thank, thank you so much. Man. Right. Take How's care. Going? I'm excited about this game, man. I'm really excited. Thank you for the follow, Myrtle Coco. Yo, everyone on the chat, thank you. For tuning in, thank you for following. Thank yes. you for asking questions. Thank Much you. appreciated. Yes, we appreciate the love. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, we really do, man.
you guys want to check out what game we're playing? But uh, oh, be sure to check out this yeah. stream on YouTube. Yeah, because we'll fix all if, if there was any sound problems. It's yeah, 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 someone yeah, mentioned fine. that there was an echo with Mike, but there's nothing that we. Maybe could it was his do. side. I'm starting to think it might have been his side. Well, we, we don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't know. know. I guess yeah, we don't know. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, it'll be on YouTube. It'll be cleaned up. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nice and clean. So yeah, be sure yeah, yeah, to subscribe yeah. on our YouTube channel. Yeah, if you're watching this now, seven games. Yeah, yeah, right. If you're watching this now, you have any issues? Definitely. Yeah, check it out next Friday. Actually, that's when we're going to upload it. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is live, man. This is yeah, live. This right is now. live, but it'll be up. It'll be up next Friday. If you want to see a nice, cool, crisp, yeah, 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 crispy, crispy, crispy. Um, coming. so in that case, uh, let's talk about what games we're playing now. Who wants to start? Uh, I'm quick. Playing? I am playing Days Gone for PS4. Nice. Um, okay. I logged in like six hours yesterday. Right? I think I was playing for a hot mm. minute. I was playing for a minute. We played a long time. And let me tell you something about time. this game. Because when I first started playing, mm. my opinion was a little mixed. Mm -hmm. Because okay. it took me a little bit to kind of get into it. You know, I'm used to Last of Us. I'm used to Stay of Decay. Mm. Um, I still think they probably could have used two more months. Extra polish. Extra, just extra. Just like, I'm nitpicking with it. Mm -hmm. But playing it for this long, I... I can't find what the percentage of how much I've played, but because they have individual stories yeah, yeah. that I played, but um, I, I'm gonna say I'm a little bit over half. Um, it's a great game. It's really awesome. Um, from the the shooting, the story is really. It has me like how Walking Dead. You know when you watch Walking Dead for those who watch Walking Dead, mm -hmm. um, you you know open the episode and you just. You know something bad's gonna happen eventually, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're just <laughs> waiting to get to that point, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you just keep playing for it. And it has that kind of same thing as Last of Us. Last of it us has is, that kind of thing. Yeah, some bad's probably gonna happen. This is leading to something bad, and you're waiting for it. You but know, it, it has you emotionally invested. Is the narrative yeah. as good as The Last of Us? You know what? Yes, yes. I, I watch. I watch a lot. Acting of Acting is streaming. good. The acting. I have to good. say, yeah. the acting is probably on par. It's with good. Last of Us as far as okay. the guy, the main oh, character, gotcha. tremendous job. I I'm, thought it was Nathan Drake, by the way. I thought it was the same voice actor, but I was <laughs> no, I, I, looked it up. I it thought is. it was no, the same dude that played Star Killer in um He is, he is. Okay. He is. Star Killer, yeah, yeah, it's him. And he does a tremendous Very job. Good. I think his name is Tre Sam Whitwer. Something yeah. like that. Even the other supporting actors, like the other Not characters Whitney. in the game. No. Like I was doing something else while I was watching no. like but was, it knocked no. you out of what you were doing. Yeah, like I, the acting. It was, I got out of like what I was doing, you know, and I'm like and you were playing the game and I'm like, I was doing something else and I just kind I, I found myself like every like ten minutes like looking up I'm like, Oh what's when going I on? Started, like, the first two hours <laughs> I, like, I was at six range. Right uh -huh. now I'm like in eight range. Yeah. Really? Like okay. it's wow. really an uh, the hordes oh. are oh Terrifying. Oh, I wanted to say this. <laughs> really? Terrifying. Like, all right, there's hordes in State of Decay, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd probably say 14 tops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like 60. Yeah. Chasing you full speed. This shit no is ammo. terrifying. No, no ammo? Crazy. Ammo don't matter. <laughs> 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 you can have a oh, full man. clips. Then it's running at you full speed. You, what if you got rockets, though? Nah, man. It's like, <laughs> I had it's like, like a tidal wave. Off cocktails. I had grenades. I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Took off like. 15? Yeah. I mean, you like while you're running. And then it's like, yeah. it's basically like a tidal wave coming over. No, it's a wave. Oh, kind of like World War Z. Yes. 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 Okay. Just a wave. Yes. Yeah, that is terrifying. I've seen it. I was like, and you had the rocket launch. You were like, <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> so we're, yo, it was like, <laughs> no. dude. <laughs> they just went, dude. Oh, it just took you out. Dude, it was. I was like, oh, it's man. It's terrifying with that. Yeah. But like the, the character development slowly, like there's yeah. some. Missions, not to go on about this, but there's yeah, some you know, missions yeah. where I'm like talking to like talking to some chick that I'm trying to save, yeah. and I'm like, I genuinely want to save her. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I don't want her to die. Like it's yeah. it's it's doing a great job of of dragging you into the world of yeah. it's immersive. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's doing immersive. a great job of that, and the fact that that game I didn't finish it, but oh, the yeah, fact yeah. that it's got rated so low on mm. IGN, on IGN. On IGN yeah. and everywhere else, like you know a six or whatever. They can go fuck themselves. They got they got, Bro, they got a mediocre yeah, rating. Listen to this though, they updated it since then, so there might have been a lot more flaws when they played it originally. Yes, because like you said before, you I had a long it. update. I had a long update. It That's was, right. Yeah, 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 twenty gig update. Build. No, no, no. You know what? I'll co-sign on that actually because I remember 
when I was driving, mm-hmm. I had the state of the K problem. You know, like when the ground it was uploading. Yeah, 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 I had that problem at the beginning. It might have been major, major problems when they were reviewing it. If that was based off the, re- okay, I get it. Mm-hmm. But everything else, because I remember some reviews were like, "Oh, the characters are bland." And the- yes. <laughs> Yo, I watched. I watched actually while you were playing. I, I was like, you know what? What? What's the review on the game? Because we were talking 6. about 5. and oh, it was like, six point five. Uh, mid, but yeah, and that's I, a bad rating. Apparently. But you know, it's funny. I looked it up, and the funny thing was that like all the <laughs> the review. I watched the review, and the I was like, damn, that was harsh. Like, the, it was a female reviewer. She she like in the first, I want to say thirty seconds. Hmm. Destroy. She just passed the shit up. Just destroy the, the game. opening statement. In the she... first opening, like the first <laughs> sentence, like just <laughs> destroy the game. I was like, oh my god! But I read the comments. That's what I always do. I always go through the comments. I'm like, I scroll down. I'm like, all right, what? What does everyone else have to think? Uh, they ripped their part. Yo, a lot of people were referencing video game donkey. They were like, nine point five. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. Victor Lucas, <laughs> Victor Lucas <laughs> said nine point five. Yes, yes, he yes, said yes, it's yes. a. Re- exactly how i feel about the game now yes. and the the thing that tells me that this game is dope mm-hmm. is there's so many missions and like stories yeah i want to do them all i want to complete them all yeah that's and a, that hasn't that's happened since know. spider-man so uh, i'm like yeah, okay i want to complete them all. <laughs> um, other than that Spider-Man. game i'm playing i just started smash brothers ultimate again mm. because i've been slacking on my skills mm. And I smoked this Diddy <laughs> and threw a banana peel on his head. <laughs> wow. I'll probably put it up on the channel for y'all to see. Nah, that's pretty funny. Uh, you saw that shit. That yeah, was hysterical. Oh, oh, okay, man. I'm done. Yeah, we saw that. <laughs> we saw that. Uh, you want me to go next? Uh, I, I only got go two quick. games. I only got two I go games. Back. One thing I'm playing. Uh, oh, yeah? All right, yeah. Go. Go, go. So I started playing Smash Brothers. Hey! What? what? <laughs> I put in time. Because I, I just remembered you. that I was playing the one player game of that. And, like, I don't what know what it's, what's it called. The story mode like yeah. on the map oh. um, to save the world. Like that's Kirby. Do you play? But who you play with mainly? I was Sheik. Sheik primarily. Go, I probably have to change it because she's getting she's getting destroyed now. <laughs> some <laughs> character <laughs> because there's like there's certain conditions you have to do to win the matches, right. and some of them are ridiculously hard. And it depends on these like the system of like uh, what spirit system? spirit system. So mm-hmm. depending on who you pick, it'll give you like attributes to beat the characters. And I don't follow it that well. I don't know all the characters and what they do for you. So it's like I just do the random, give me the best thing. Let me see if I can do it. It's like a rock, paper, scissors type thing. Kind of right. like that. Right, right, like sometimes right. they'll destroy you massively. And then if you have something set up right, oh, you'll kill them. Like yeah. in two seconds. I'll pop them on the screen in three hits. I'm like, oh, that was way better. Nah. But I had to fight this big metal boss, this robot. And it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Because mm. those characters aren't in the game. And you forget that it's, it even has that mode. Because I know fact, you play I've it online. I've never played the story ever. Nah. Never touched it. Really? I realized I was in four hours. And then I, put, I played it for like another four. Wow. Recently. Ooh. Like this week. So... Yeah, it's it's well, interesting. Well, you and Chalk are the other two members of Level Eight Five Seven when we play four on four. So I need I y'all skills I to be nice. Mm. All you need is me to get in the way. It's yeah. fine. My skills are getting in the way. Tight. So whatever four on four is want to challenge us, we'll smoke you and put <laughs> you on the chat. I just, I, just, I was gonna say um, chaos. Do you guys mind if I go next? Because I have to go to the bathroom. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I'm, it's real quick, man. I, I, I still got four other games. No, 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 you don't. Yes, yeah, so you <laughs> uh, Yeah, no, I got. I'm gonna piss my pants. Uh, then, <laughs> Wait, I got more I games. Hold on, hold next. on. No, <laughs> Go, huh? no, I can't do it. No, um, no uh, Tetris ninety nine. Uh, I play that game every day. There's always a challenge. There's a daily challenge which have uh, four different uh, challenges. It enables you to uh, win points you and totally uh, four points every day. Uh, today, as a matter of fact, today, uh, which is the eleventh of December, um, if you're watching this live or you know if you're watching this on YouTube. Or if you're um, not window watching. <laughs> yeah, if you're not window watching. Just oh my god, who's that? <laughs> um, <Get it. laughs> I um I just discovered that they have a tournament that's starting tomorrow, uh the twelfth, and it has a new mode, which I didn't even notice when I was doing the challenges. I saw something that said, Would you like a password match or something like that? And I'm like, What the heck is password match? What the heck? What is that? The friend code? No, well, it's a um apparently the, the tournament is a uh, co-op like type of like a team battle like tournament. Yeah. So the person that wins the uh, that has the most points, like the nine hundred and ninety nine people that have the most points at the end of the tournament, get uh, nine hundred ninety nine uh, Nintendo Gold uh, points or whatever. 
Ten dollars. Yeah. Ten, which ten, is ten dollars. I had to look that up. I was like, how much is nine hundred dollars? I'm thinking that's like a lot of money. I'm like, oh, oh, wow. I'm thinking about five games. Yeah. 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 You can like, buy ten dollars. You could probably get like a discount on like a few games. <laughs> you can get an indie game, man. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. those games are thirty cents. Probably get like a couple yeah. indie games. Probably Shazam get, like, is now eleven. Eleven bucks. Let's not get a few. It's not enough. But um, yeah, I'm saying this only because I I don't know if anybody out there who's watching this right now live. I don't know. And you're into Tetris. If you're good. Let me know. Hit me up in the. Uh, You'll the be comments, his tag right? team partner. Yeah. yeah Take yeah, on yeah, the yeah. world. Only if you're good. No, no Only chumps. if you're good, man. No chumps. Yeah, man. I'm not joining you a team because after I that, suck. Yeah. Then, you know, <laughs> you missed out. All right. You Next see time. It after you. Yeah. But uh, the only other game I'm playing is uh, War Groove, and I'm doing a single player of that, and I can't get enough of that game. That game is insane. There's so much. There's Fire so emblem. much. So much. <laughs> It's such a like a uh, 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 I can't say enough about it, man. I mean, I talked three about houses last week, game but... of the year, huh? What? <laughs> wow! All right, wow. indie game of the year. Indie <laughs> game. It's an indie game. Damn it! No, I can't it's say enough. It's, it's in the running. I heard a lot of good things about it. It's um, it. you know, the one thing that I really want to do, which we have to stream because co-op. It's yes, because I don't know. You guys should do co-op. I don't know if any of anybody else. I want to do it with, with Kev, but um, you know, it's he's, not, he's not really available. For this strategy game. game. This guy. Yeah, but you have to play the. You have to know how to, the game mechanics work, though. If it's not Fire Emblem, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you have to know the game mechanics because it's wow. it's it's not uh, it's a different way of uh, it's not like Fire Emblem. It is cool though. I so I, I played it's it. Not like a couple Emblem. seconds I played it, it looked intriguing. It's, it's a intriguing. different. It's a. It's more like capture uh, territory. Type of type That's of cool. game, you know. Yeah, to win a battle, you have, you have to either, I'll and try. they give you missions. So it's like, um, for example, like the last mission I had, um, I had to, they 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 give you the the your goal. It's either capture this this uh, castle, or defeat this this boss, and then the boss has you know, uh, different characters or whatever, and then you can see their stats. And then you can see, like, you know, it's, it's just, a very involved game. I saw super involved. Like, I I lost this battle like five fucking times, man. I but I but I went back. I should teach us like I am. But I know oh I went gosh. back. I went back and I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking beat this guy. I'm gonna beat it. And like, it was really really good. I like puzzle games and I like like trying to figure stuff out. Like it's that. an indie game ahead of its time in a sense. Yeah. Well, it has so many like multiplayer uh, features for a, for a strategy game. It's it's got it's ahead of its time as far as that. Like, yeah, fi- like all the other uh, strategy games have to have these mechanics. I've heard nothing but good things about it's it. It's crazy, nothing but that's all I gotta say about that. Y'all go with uh, Chuck. I bring a diaper. Yeah. I already went twice. Oh, sure you did. I'm joking. All right, Damn. Damn. <laughs> it depends. I need to. Oh. It some depends. Guys. I like that. It depends. Oh man, I like that, Jay. That's good. What some right, of these guys? Home, Chuck, take us home. I, I always do. Um, so what some of these guys neglected to mention? Uh, we've been playing some Bomb Fest, which is super, super fun. Oh, we got some funny videos. Unlocking tons of new like characters and headpieces. It's so dope. Love that game. One in particular. Well, which one? What the Super Saiyan hair? Oh, the powered up hair? Oh, you mad? You mad, bro? You were losing a lot when you got that hair. Didn't care. <laughs> no, don't zero. Cares. Gold hair, don't care. Yeah. Gold basically. hair, don't care. Gold hair, don't care. Um, and we've been playing Crystal Crisis, which was really fun. Um, I wasn't the first one eliminated in every match this time, so yeah, actually, it's not no different this time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was first a couple of times actually. Yeah, we noticed. Damn. I don't think I played that at all. Yet. I don't think I played Crystal Crisis at all. Yet. And um. I finished Borderlands 3. I liked it a lot. Huh? No, I didn't. <laughs> you you fast. I liked it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, I'll play through it again at some point. Did you um, play the others? I played Borderlands. I played the first one. Didn't play the second one. Yo, the whose alarm one. is that? Um, so, yeah. I think I might download the uh, the second one off of Game Pass and play play through that one. That's all you have. They have like a separate and, part, um, too, that, that goes into 3. Yeah. And you, then you need to get back into Smash Brothers Ultimate, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Give me a reason. You got, you're part of the team, right? I know I'm part of the team. We got challenges out there. They coming. Tell them, tell them, tell them to call me. <laughs> and um, they come. My favorite, my personal favorite. Um, playing Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, <laughs> Broly got released, so I've been trying to learn how to play as him. That's his. Yeah. Cool. How do you like him compared to the other? Well, one? I saw your, I saw your stream, man. Honestly. <laughs> 
He's not my style. <laughs> yeah. I all. saw you stream. Yeah. I got crushed. Yes, yes, I saw you stream. I got clowned I was, I was, but yes. several times. Yes, yes, yes. I, I got that. clowned. I got clowned a couple times by the computer, <laughs> and then I played casual matches with with actual people. Murder. Yes, I but saw he's that. He's a power. I saw it. I was like, he no, he no. Man. Like if if you if you hit people with him, he he does damage, mm. but. He's slow, and I'm not used to using slower characters. But he's open uh, after the moves. And I'm always... It's I'm, calibration. It's timing. It's, it's, it's a timing character. Yeah, yeah it, ch- it changes up my timing because I still it's have two other fast characters on the team, so it's a super... It's a, it's an adjustment. So but you if, have to adjust. But if like I can figure it out... That's like being Gandalf and switching to, like, fucking Marth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, yeah or Roy. Different. Timing's completely yeah, it's, off. It's, or Ike. You could, yeah. but it's like you, have to, your, your you have to learn. No, they should yeah. add tag it, battles to Smash, but yeah, it's like I know, and it's hard to do because it's, it's a tag game, and you have to have that mentality of switching from oh, like this character's fast, let me abuse the speed, mm-hmm. and then this character slow. I got to be more methodical and think about how I'm going to hit. And the thing is, like, I'm not too good with the setups with the assists, like um, everyone else is. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people, like the the day he was released, like people were pulling off ridiculous combos. I'm just like, what have you been doing? You know what it's like? It's like uh, playing, uh, going from Tetris to Crystal Crisis, which yeah. we also play. <laughs> we also play. Stop I trying to justify it. your sorry. losses, all right? Sorry. All right, just take sorry. the L. Sorry, <laughs> take the L. Yeah, man. But yeah, that's that's what I've been playing this week. All right, man. All good right. times as usual. Well, uh, well. Maybe. That's the show. <laughs> it is, no, it really is, man. I mean, shoot. For everybody out there who stuck around, thank you so much. Once again, if you haven't already. For actually, for all those guys that uh there are people out there who subscribe to our channel. Not you. aliens, not the <laughs> actual human beings. No, no, we want aliens people. to subscribe too. Yeah, I can subscribe. The people, the people that uh that subscribe. Animals. Animals too. Oh, Animals too. Hit the they have, they Especially have, cats. If they got cats. YouTube and they, they got an account. Yeah, yeah. dogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen dogs watch YouTube like Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but no seriously though thank you very much for watching guys thank you very much uh for the people that uh subscribe yes yeah, thank you and um if we do hit 500 subscribers what gonna happen or followers what gonna happen for all our social media what gonna happen fire we're gonna do the hot sauce challenge That's fire burn your face off yeah, we're keep an eye on that guy right there because yes, he's gonna he's, be dying he's not good with the hot sauce he's going man. to be he's dying hot sauce. I'm I'm not not hot sauce. but if you want to see that <laughs> get on that subscribe button just hit that bang yeah. bang yeah, yeah, yeah. if It'll you like this video hit that like button if you also like it share it with a friend man yes. let everybody know what we about don't mm-hmm. keep it to yourself share it don't yeah sharing is caring guys mm-hmm. and if you're sharing watching this live you already know man we're live every wednesday 8 p.m. Eastern. 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 Eastern time. On Twitch. Eastern. Eastern on standard time. Twitch. Eastern. 8 p.m. That's right. And we're available on all the streaming services, man. But, uh, you know, Apple uh, Podcasts Apple is Podcast. uh, one of those that, uh, you know, you can uh, you can subscribe to us on that, man. That's all good. Yep. It's all good. Spotify, all the other yeah, streaming yeah. services, show us that love because we like to give the love back yeah. to you. Yeah. Yes, Any man. questions, comments, concerns, leave a yes. comment. Yes. We know that uh, this is a unique podcast. You know, we got a lot of members here, a lot of guests, like, you know, guests and stuff like that. And uh, we thank everybody who's been watching that. That's yeah, right. thank you for sticking around with us. We appreciate you guys. All right. That being said, peace. See you next time. We hungry. That's peace. right. Later, guys. Right.